We've just passed the midpoint of January and we've had a reasonable amount of cold, wet, windy weather this year. Some of the more tender perennials that we grow here, they really haven't done well, mainly to do with the wet and the wind rather than the cold. But at this time of year, quite a lot of our South African plants really start to flourish and, and go into full bloom. We've started to cut back some of the hardier perennials that we know do well with us, such as the salvias and the eryngiums, the sea hollies. But some of these more tender perennials, such as the plectranthus, it's a South African perennial, have really suffered in the wind. Now some of this growth we will leave on until at least April because that may give a little bit of protection to the new shoots underneath. So we're not going to be too quick to cut these back. We've just passed midwinter where the light levels are at the lowest. But because of our unique position by the sea and our beautiful UV levels, the South African plants really thrive. This King Prather is absolutely gorgeous at the moment. This Polygala is an absolute star, flowering nearly 12 months of the year. And because of the way we've positioned it, it's really coping well in this part of the garden. Over the years, we've collected and selected Osteospernum seedlings. This one here does terribly well, and we've named it Golden Sands. And at this time of year, that yellow's an absolute joy. One of the absolute stars of the theatre is the Leucodendron argentium, the Cape Silver Tree. This is an evergreen shrub, which is pretty tender, but down here again with our unique microclimate, it really thrives, taking all the salt wind it can throw at it with very little damage. Another plant thriving in the theatre is the aloe arborescence. It's always in flower in January. But unfortunately in December it, it got caught when we had frost in the theatre, which doesn't happen very often, but that's still not very much damage really. There's still a lot of winter to come, so be patient. Don't be too hasty in cutting things back. And when you're growing these types of plants, just be mindful you are going to get some losses. But hold on to the hope that spring is just around the corner.